Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey, so today I'm just gonna do a very short vlog. Last month I did a video about, it was kind of just like a short add on to a vlog about the easiest ways to choose between the Speedy 25 and the Speedy 30. And I completely forgot to post it. So I'm gonna add it onto this vlog. So if you're interested in only that, then um, you can go to this timestamp right here. If not, stay tuned because I kind of wanted to talk about my outfit and uh, my work outfit and the bag of the day. Just before we get started on this video, just wanted to say thank you to Lily Silk for sending me these items. You guys know I've been working with Lily Silk for over five years and um, just love it. So I'm gonna show you my outfit of the day. It is very casual, but it also can be perfect for a meeting, which we're later on, uh, we have a meeting for JT, like at a like a meeting conference type thing. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna wear this outfit, but really just wanted to quickly show you guys my outfit of the day. This is Tiffany & Co. pearl earrings. And then I have my Lily Silk striped shirt i actually got it on a medium because i wanted it to be oversized but i just love the feeling of this this is all silk like i love just the feeling of it you could like tuck it in if you wanted to but i'm just gonna wear it long and flowy and then on it has like a little cute like design right here that is so cute and it's just 100 percent silk so if you guys aren't familiar with like silk or anything Silk is like anti-wicking, it's breathable, it's really good on your skin, and it feels so luxurious and good on your skin. So I have this Lily Silk, like I said, striped shirt. You can wear it in so many different ways, but today I'm just going to keep it as it is. And then the buttons are these like white detail right here. White detail like so. Everything is just so nicely made. And then to go on to the bottom part, my pants, they're these like um, wide-legged trousers. And I just love how like comfortable they are. Um, they are cinched like at the top right here. And I love that they're like stretchy as well. They fit really nicely. I have a size medium. I have, um, I'm also, there's also like pockets and I really just like the whole wide-legged pants. Let me show you my pants, kind of like a close-up of the pants. Okay guys, I was looking through my footage and I decided to change my outfit like a little bit because I felt a little chunky in the other one. So um, basically I just popped up my collar like this and then I tied the shirt at the waist so I didn't look so like I didn't look so what's it called um boxy or <laughs> chunky so yeah this is how I wore it instead and um we're gonna head to the meeting and I took my hair down to make it look a little bit more professional I feel like this is a little bit better but um yeah so so the whole outfit's like this and then I have my Chanel GST because I love this bag when I like go to meetings and stuff like that because it can carry like tons of things. So you can put your like folder, you can put an um, iPad, you can put like basically everything you need. And I just love, love, love wearing this bag. So that is the whole outfit. And then these shoes, lastly, these shoes are, I don't know, it's called Allegra. I'll link them down below, but I really like them, that they're like pointed toe and super comfortable. But most importantly, I feel so comfortable and I feel like I'm like in pajamas, but then I look put together in my Lily Silk outfit. So as always guys, I do have a coupon code for you guys. It is 12% off Tabby V at Lily Silk and I'm gonna put all their information down in the description box. I even have videos on the brand review of Lily Silk. I have like other outfits of the day and different ways of styling it, but today I just wanted to show you guys like a casual outfit of the day, and um, I feel like this would just be so perfect for, you know, this is from the spring collection, and it would be so perfect for 
obviously spring and summer and then like going on an, a yacht or a boat in Hawaii and also like um, Mother's Day is coming up so I feel like you could your mom would love this I actually bought my mother-in-law this like silk set for Mother's Day and no was it for Christmas for Christmas and it was basically like um, like a silk headpiece and then silk like pajamas and then it was silk um, well, basically everything's silk and she like loved it because she's really into pajamas. Hey guys, hi. So I am currently um, getting ready to leave my parents' house and go to our, um, our new house for the next four to six months. And <clears throat> I wanted to, I was getting my Speedy 30 all packed up. I mean, it's already pretty much packed up. And then I have this beautiful Speedy 25 and I was like oh my gosh I can't just leave here without uh, comparing them quickly but I know there's like a million comparison videos on the Speedy 30 and Speedy 25 and so I'm not really gonna go on that because I've already done that like seven years ago with my Ampront Speedy 25 but now I after these years of collecting and like using bags I actually feel like I have like a pretty solid a solid conclusion of what I think about choosing between the Speedy 25 and Speedy 30. Of course, this is my opinion and everybody's opinion differs. It's just personal preference, but I'll tell you what I think that um, how you can choose the Speedy 30 over the Speedy 25. No, not, in no particular order am I going to go into like categories, but I'm just going to go as I speak. I'm going to tell you straight off the bat, if it was a battle between like Speedy 30 and Speedy 25, it would, for me, absolutely, absolutely be a Speedy 25. Let me get into why. Um, but before I do that, I just want to tell you little details because they're very evidently like very, very different bags, as you can see. Um, this one is about 10 years old. I'm not sure like almost 10 years old. I bought it new at the LV store. It is different because it's a Speedy Bandolier. It has the strap right here. And then this is a Speedy 25, just like a normal one. And as you can see, it's very, very, very patinaed. It does not have the straps. It's the original one. And this one is like 30 years old. Um, so yeah, my mom bought this pre-loved. We bought it together about five years ago pre-loved. And it was really, really affordable. And so I was like, you just gotta, I mean, it's just so classic, you know? Anyways, I will tell you that the Speedy 25 really, really suits my needs the most. And so this is why I kind of just wanted to talk about my thought process. I only wear the Speedy 30 nowadays because I'm 5'2", and right now I'm 135, but typically I am 120 pounds. But I am 135 right now, 5'2", so I'm very short. And the Speedy 30, I only use for travel. Only use for travel, maybe once in a while. I'll use it if I have to go like to bring things, but honestly, I haven't been wearing it very much. I only have been using it on the airplane because I think it's just like a real, it's like a baby, baby keep all and it's really good just for like traveling and having, carrying a lot of stuff. And you have the strap for ease. But um, as you can see, I'm going to stand back. The main reason I choose the Speedy 30 is because uh, the Speedy 25 is mainly because it suits my height. And so I think that if you're under 5'3", I honestly think that the easiest way to go about it is Speedy 25. And if you're above 5'3", 5'4", Speedy 30 suits your frame more. That's just my personal preference as far as it goes for suiting you know, your frame. So I'm just going to stand back real quick. So yeah, so look how um, big the Speedy 30 is on me. Again, 5'2", so it's massive. And if you like that look and you're trying to carry more things, obviously the Speedy 30 will be your choice. But then look how like this really, really suits me. Like um, it just suits my frame a lot, lot better. And if you were to like choose, you know, it's like not too big, not too small. This one's just very big. So hands down, I would choose this one as far as like meeting my frame. 
although I don't have it anymore. Um, so yeah, I do feel like that's the case. And plus this bag, as you guys know, Speedies can fit so much. And so in, even in the Speedy 25, you can fit so much stuff compared to the Speedy 30, which you can like fit <laughs> so many, so many things. And you can check out like what's in our bags for Speedy 30s and 25s. There's a lot of videos out there on that, but I do actually specifically have a very, very detailed video on the Speedy 30 and Speedy 25. And I'm gonna link it down below. Um, sorry, my sister is cooking lunch. Okay, so I move locations because my um, my sister works from home and she's cooking lunch, and she was kind of being loud in the kitchen. So, anyways, uh, yeah. So, like I was saying, like the Speedy 25 really, really suits my frame, being petite, and then I think the Speedy 30 kind of suits, you know, people that are taller as well. So that's what I would go off of. Of course, if you're looking for the Speedy as kind of like a work bag, then, and you carry a lot, you wanna put your lunch in there, the Speedy 30 will absolutely fit like your lunch. Of course, you're gonna put like, you know, in a lunch bag and then ha probably have an organizer so you're not gonna get it dirty. And then this is just great if you wanna like put a water bottle in it. Actually, this one, you can put a bottle, water bottle in it, but I don't like to do that. But you can hold it sideways, but ultimately it is really down to function and what you want to use it for then that's kind of like again you want to carry a lot go for the speedy 30 you want to just have like your minimal daily things even speedy 25 or even smaller would be better i have even the nano i have the mini hl speedy and that's so cute barely can fit anything i wish i had it here so and then what else is would you look into it um price point i mean i think relatively like both of them are kind of you know they're nowadays uh, price points kind of like expensive i think for speedies but i don't think they're too far apart depending on whether you want a speedy bandolier or regular speedy i don't think the price is like too much different between a 25 and 30 and um so yeah i think that's kind of it i'm not really going to go into detail but i like i said i just wanted to put my input into it i really just wanted to show you guys like what the Speedy 25 and Speedy 30 looked on me, and plus they're so pretty. Um, I just think they're so pretty. This is so vintage, and this one's like kind of old, but not too old, and I love this honey color, and then this one's like very patinaed and shinied and weathered and stuff like that, which I love. This is when the canvas was like super, super hard. Still, when I got mine like nearly 10 years ago, the canvas was hard, but not quite as hard as it is back then and then nowadays like the canvas of the LV ones are like so thin so what do you guys think do you like the smaller like the thinner canvas or the thicker canvas I personally really 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 like the thicker canvas it just feels more substantial to me so yeah that is just my little quick input and um, I'll just stand up stand back a little bit more kind of show you guys but I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video bye